qualifiers for the women's uneven bars final. First up will be the top qualifier, Caterina Gaddi of Italy. Already an all-around and team bronze medalist. From Spain, Lere Escariata. Top 10 in the all-around competition and the silver medalist on uneven bars at the DTB Pokal Junior Team Championships. Germany's Helen Keverich, second best in qualification, the reigning junior all-around European champion, and she also won a silver medal on the uneven bars in her home championships in Munich. Here's the history maker, Mia Mainardi of Argentina, into bonus territory now for her, having won the vault title. Yamaguchi Sada of Japan, team champion, all-around silver medalist. From the United States of America, Hesley Rivera, team at silver medalist. She was the junior all-around champion at the Winter Cup at the start of the season. Level with her in qualification, Giulia Perotti of Italy. Part of the team that won a bronze medal. Gymnast who has a lovely routine on the uneven bars. Nakamura Haruka of Japan. The team and all-around champion. Those are your eight contenders for the women's uneven bars title at the Junior World Championships at the Antalya Gymnastics Hall in Turkey. The finalists in the women's uneven bars competition at the Junior World Championships. The top performer in qualification, Katharina Gaddi of Italy, gets us underway. Helen Keveridge of Germany was the second best in qualification. She'll go third in the order. And two gymnasts were tied in third place, Rivera and Perotti of the USA and Italy, respectively. Nice opportunity for us to see some gymnasts in this final who haven't taken part in the team and uh, all-around uh, competitions as uh, prominently. Gymnasts like Helen Keverich, for example, who was uh, limited in what she could do in the team competition due to injury and uh, didn't participate in the all-around event. Same for Hesley Rivera of the United States of America. Great to see her here in this final. In the team event, the nations had to put up three gymnasts on each apparatus with the top two scores counting. So an opportunity for one routine to be discarded. producing some very fine work on the uneven bars in the uh, qualification process to get to this stage. <laughs> Katarina Gaddi, uh, very impressive on the uneven bars. Her teammate Giulia Perotti likewise. Helen Keverich. We have the first ever German to win the junior all-around European title. 
She got full colours. She won a bronze with the team and a silver medal on the uneven bars. So she has great pedigree on this piece. She's been dealing with some injury issues of late. And one hopes that she's in good form physically to participate in this final. Warm-ups have been completed and it is time for the women's uneven bars final at the Junior World Championships. Welcome all of you wherever you're watching the action from. Holly Hogben here and it's a great pleasure to have your company for these Junior World Championships. The second of their kind in artistic gymnastics. We'll have the second Rhythmic Gymnastics Junior World Championships in Romania in the summer. And it presents a wonderful showcase for these athletes and a chance to learn as well. Whenever something goes wrong in one of these finals in a young gymnast routine, we've got to stop and remind ourselves we're dealing with athletes here who are 13 through to 15. Let's give them some breathing space and give them some time to develop. This is Katarina Gaddy of Italy, the top performer in qualification. 14-year-old is from Modena, in the north of the country. Very nice gymnastics on this piece. Uses a Maloney to transition with real purpose. Isn't that nice? Stole into the Kachev. Well-controlled overshoot. Builds back up her swing. This is very enjoyable. And that is such a nice dismount. The front double tuck to conclude the routine. Really a wonderful start from Katarina Gaddi of Italy. Very secure looking gymnastics throughout. She got bags of amplitude into her dismount. That's a great way to begin this final. It's another real statement performance. We've seen a few of those so far. The first gymnast getting out there and delivering something that is going to be a challenge for anyone else to follow. She's got very good technique on this piece. Snaps the uh, position into place for the Kachev. Isn't that a nice overshoot? Really good line. Up into the handstand position. A very well administered double tuck to bring to a close her display. Now, 13.366 was the score in qualification for Katharina Gaddi. A 7.766 for execution, a 5.6 for difficulty. It was the most difficult routine that we saw of all of the qualifying gymnasts. Very limited international experience. She went to a competition in Luxembourg earlier this year with the 
junior Italian team won the uh, team event. She was also the all-around and uneven bar silver medalist. And she's gone on to take two bronze medals already here. Will she go higher this time? Quite some uh, process of calculation going on. And it's very much worth waiting for. 13.6 for Katarina Gaddy. She gets a single tenth more in difficulty. She gets a fair amount more in execution for a gain of just uh, about two and a half tenths. Dele Escariata of Spain. The seventh best in the preliminary round. A score of 12.6. She went to Stuttgart for the DTB Pokal Junior Team Challenge and won the uneven bars silver medal. Pax Salto has well performed. This is the Maloney. She goes into a ginger where I did just wonder if she was going to get the right level of swing coming back up out of the Maloney. Maybe just lost some of the power. I hope that she hasn't uh, jarred herself there doing that uh, getting a somersault. It was quite an unpleasant landing. Oh, what a nice dismount. Well done to Leri Escariatha on concluding that routine. It's a good routine by a very watchable gymnast. I do just hope that she is okay because she looked to be rather unsettled by the uh, misconnection on the uh, Ginga somersault. Just won the Division Two all-around title in the second Spanish league. A step up from winning the silver medal in the first Spanish league event of the season. So she's going in the right direction. Jaeger somersault at the start was nicely delivered. Real arch of the back into the pack, Salto. Popular Maloney transition, the uh, toe on the variant of the Shaposhnikova, but just seemed to lose the power coming back up to really connect with that uh, Ginger. So a composed finish from a bright young gymnast. Based in the lovely island of uh, Mallorca, in the Balearics, in the city of Palma, which is a real focal point of gymnastics training in Spain. Eleven point three 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 for Lere Escariata. to Helen Keveridge of Germany. The second best performer in qualification with 13.066, silver medalist at the Junior European Championships. Just a little half turn thrown into her low to high transition. Some more difficulty. Piked Jaeger somersault had to Real sense of flight to it. Axolto with crispness of form. It's 
Winds up to dismount with very nice work in that routine. Helen Keveridge of Germany. The 15-year-old from Baden-Württemberg in the south of the country. She also won the all-around title at the European Youth Olympic Festival last year. She's had really impressive European success at junior international level. Now seeking to turn it into world honours. Here's the daughter of a former international footballer, Adnan Keveridge, who played for Bosnia and Herzegovina. He actually made his international debut against Argentina, who've been having rather a splendid day, not just in football, but in gymnastics here at these championships. Very enjoyably performed Pike Jaeger. Full control in her pack Salto work too. But there was quite a movement on the landing. Keveridge waiting to see where she compares to that qualification number of 13.066 and where she compares to Katerina Gaddy so she goes into the silver medal position 13.266 she gains an extra couple of tenths of difficulty with the same execution score from qualifying So just as the father of Helen Keveridge made his uh, international football debut against Argentina, so his daughter Helen is immediately followed by an Argentinian, Mia Minardi, who has become her country's first ever junior world champion in artistic gymnastics by winning the vault title. Starts with the straddle Jaeger as her release skill. Paxolto. Well, that was very good from Mia Minardi of Argentina. To be honest, I think whatever happened in this final, it would be impossible to call this competition anything other than a rip-roaring success for her. But that was a really good display too. The gymnast who started her training at the Club Atletico River Plate. Very well-known multi-sport club. What a day. She has shown a terrific ability to handle a final. Mia Mainardi. Twelve point three six six for Mia Minardi. She goes in the third position. 
It is still Gaddy who leads the way. Now that's the standings at the halfway mark. Gaddy over Kevridge over Mainardi. But we have got the joint third best qualifiers to come in Hesley Rivera and Giulia Perotti. Well, I hope you're enjoying the action so far from Antalya in Turkey. I keep having to stop and remind myself that I'm watching a junior world championship. So high quality has it been today. There's been a great sense of composure and quality from these young athletes. It's lovely to see gymnasts with such good basic technique and form coming through. And undoubtedly, any coach who's worth their salt will know that it is basic technique and manageable difficulty that is always going to long-term triumph over too much difficulty performed without the right to grounding. She's an example of somebody who's got strong difficulty but with absolutely secure fundamentals. Coming up to quarter to five in the afternoon in Antalya. And we glimpse at the uh, gymnast, or we were glimpsing, now we're looking at the leader, but we were glimpsing before at the uh, warming up of Nakamura Haruka, the gymnast who won the team and all around title. Oh, hello. Now, now that is interesting. That is very interesting. She's just thrown the deaf in for the first time. The first time that we've seen that in these championships. I don't believe, if my memory serves me correctly, that she's done it here in Antalya. It was the skill that made her a real one to watch on social media when she performed it in uh, an invitational tournament earlier this year. But that is, I am sure, the first time we've seen it from her here. Now to Yamaguchi Sara. Team gold medalist, all around silver medalist. A gymnast who's proven her composure. Fifth best in qualification. So much height in that Jaeger somersault. If you didn't know that these Japanese gymnasts were ones to watch, you know now. Or do you know now? Because they have lit up the competition in Antalya. Yamaguchi Sara. She had such a rough start to the all-around competition, sitting down her vault, and then responded incredibly to almost, almost take the uh, title. Won the silver medal, and it really was a win. It was uh, a remarkable comeback.
wasn't that well performed. Really extended in the uh, straddle Jaeger. Leading the way, it is Katarina Gaddy on 13.6. 12.5 for Yamaguchi Sara. So that has her in the bronze medal position at the moment. Esli Rivera of the United States of America. Third best performer in qualification. Team silver medalist. Oh, she's going to struggle there. That's uh, just such an unfortunate moment when the gymnast just loses that position, starts to overbalance. It's, it's all so marginal in this sport. She's uh, just 15, based in Texas, but born in New Jersey. And uh, it's been a difficult routine, this for Hesley Rivera. But the philosophy of the United States uh, delegation here is that this is where you learn. This is your opportunity to experience a major competition. And they uh, understand fully, as they should, that these things will happen from time to time with new gymnasts. There's no questioning the quality of Hesley Rivera as a gymnast. She's a really impressive competitor. She was so good at the uh, Winter Cup, winning the junior all-around title domestically. Her beam performance there was actually better than all of the seniors, would you believe? one of those gymnasts that participated in the US Canada junior friendly competition in Texas earlier this month she won the all around title there Waiting for her score, the team silver medalist, Hesley Rivera of the United States of America. It is Gaddy, then Keverich, then Yamaguchi at the moment. We still have two to go. Julia Perotti and Nakamura Haruka, who's got everybody very excited by the fact that she has uh, just warmed up using... That lovely uh, move named after Jacques Def. The weight goes on for Hesley Rivera. Quite 
quite a, a long time for this score to come in. Still the considerations go on. Some very long days for the judges at these championships, particularly having so many qualification subdivisions all on one day. It's a score of 9.9 .9 for Hesley Rivera of the United States of America. She will return from these championships, having learned a lot and having a team silver medal as well. Giulia Perotti of Italy, third best in the qualification process. Joint third with Hesley Rivera on 13.033. Oh, so much height. Straddle Jaeger with uh, extra mustard into the catcher. This is good. This is going well. It's gone very well. Giulia Perotti of Italy. Well, this is quite a final for the Italians. They really have been so pleased with the performances of their gymnasts. Two team bronze medals. And some individual success coming along as well. Perotti was seventh in the all-around competition. Very nice gymnast who has a, a great background in dance. It's re really very evident when you watch her on uh, balance beam and on floor. Actually uh, began her training not as a gymnast but as a dancer. But the amplitude that she gets in the straddle Jaeger somersault is really impressive. Double pipe to conclude. Now, where does she fit into this uh, leaderboard? There's space, certainly, to get into the top three with Yamaguchi on 12.5 in third place. Gaddy, then Keverich, then Yamaguchi as things stand. 13.6, 13.266, And she has managed to find that space. 13.1, Julia Perotti goes into the bronze medal position with one to go. And it means that Katarina Gaddy will win at least the silver medal. Nakamura Haruka of Japan, sixth best in qualification. But we have just seen her warming up. A wonderful move that excited everybody when she did it earlier this year. She hasn't done it yet at these championships. And there it is. She's done the deaf, Jacques Def's eponymous skill, the full twisting ging, a somersault. And this is really something. The gymnast who can produce def, she can do uh, Pike Delchev, she can do Pike Jaeger somersaults.
Pax Salto is lovely. Oh no, oh no. Oh, goodness. Well, isn't that just a remarkable moment? With all of that extraordinary gymnastics done, it seemed to be home and dry for Nakamura Haruka. But you know what? Team gold, all around gold. Consider this the lap of honor because she deserves, absolutely deserves all of the plaudits that will come her way. This is one you've got to keep your eye on in the future. Nakamura Haruka of Japan. She's bold, she's exciting, and she's a proven winner. And proven winners will learn as she has learned in her career that you don't win every one of them. Doesn't make you less of a competitor. There's a reason why the most knowledgeable of gymnastics fans have been talking about her for a little while, this 14-year-old from Osaka. A deaf to a deafening reaction. It is a remarkable skill. And we see it so rarely. A nice uh, Pike Jaeger too. And it seemed that she was almost there. It really did. But with the kind of skills that she can produce, what more will come from this athlete in the future to surprise us. And just to point out as well, she doesn't get the full credit at junior level for doing the deaf, which is a very hard skill. The code of points is capped at uh, junior level for difficulty. So that routine will grow as a senior for her. 12.533 and your champion of the world at junior level in the women's uneven bars is uh, Katerina Gaddy of uh, Italy, her teammate Giulia Perotti takes the bronze medal. And in between them, a German gymnast who's had a deserved moment of glory here at these uh, Junior World Championships. It is the silver medal for Helen Keverich. There is the bronze medalist alongside the champion, the junior world champion, Katerina Gaddy, the 14 year old from Modena. Three medals she's won at these world championships. All around bronze, team bronze, and now a world champion. The Italians are having a storming competition. And she realizes now that it is hers, the silver medal, Helen Keverich matching what she did at the uh, Junior European Championships. The classified results in the women's uneven bars final at the Junior World Championships. Bronze to Giulia Perotti of Italy, silver to Germany's Helen Keverich, and the World Championship title goes to Katerina Gaddi of Italy.